But now let's talk about how we can reshape an array into a column-wise vector and also into a row-wise vector, which is very, very useful also specifically in machine learning. So for example, as you can see here, we have an array, which is called X. And, it, and as you can see, it's a two by two matrix. But now suppose that I want to convert the values inside this matrix into a column-wise vector. What do I mean by column-wise vector? I mean a vector, for example here, which has four rows but one column. So it's a column-wise vector. So one of the things that we know so far is we can simply type x dot reshape because we want to reshape the x array and we want to reshape that into four rows and one column. And what is this for? This four is the number of elements inside our array. So this four is the number of elements inside our array and this one means one column. So this is row and this is column. So that's it. And I store the results in a variable, let's say called y. And if I print the y variable, and if I run a code, you can see here is the result. And as you can see, we have four rows and one column. So as a matter of fact, it's a column wise vector. But also we can use other methods as well. So one of those methods is using the size attribute. So I can simply type x dot size and x dot size means the number of elements inside the x. So x dot size returns the number of elements inside the x. So for example here, if I print x dot size, so let's delete all of these lines. And if I run a code, you can see the number of elements inside the x is four. So as you can see here, x dot size is four. Four. So it means that we are going to reshape our X into four rows, I mean the number of elements, and one column. So we are going to convert our array into a column-wise vector. So now if I run the code again, you can see we get the same result. But now let's talk about another method which is very famous and popular, especially in machine learning. And that method is you can replace this with minus one. And what does it mean? It means that, of course, we are going to convert and reshape that into one column, but how many rows do we need? And this minus one means as much as needed. So for example here, in order to convert this matrix, in order to convert this array into a column-wise vector, of course, we are going to convert it to one column, but how many rows do we need? And this minus one means as much as needed. Here we need four rows in order to convert that into a column-wise vector. So now if I run a code, we can see again we get the same output. But now let's add a couple of elements to the initial array in order to explain this better. So as you can see here, our array is a two by three matrix. And I want to reshape that into a column wise vector. So a column wise vector has one column, but how many rows is it going to have? It has as much as needed. Here, in order to convert a two by three matrix, which has six elements, in order to convert this array into a column-wise vector, we need six rows. So this minus one means as much as needed. So now if I run a code, you can see it converts all this stuff into a column-wise vector. And because it has needed six rows in order to convert that into a column-wise vector, so minus one means as much as needed. And also we can use the same concept for converting our array, for reshaping our array into a row-wise vector. So for example, suppose that I want to reshape this into one row and how many columns? As much as needed. Minus one means as much as needed. So in this way, I'm going to reshape that into a row-wise vector. So now if I run a code, you can see here's the output and as you can see here is a two-dimensional array which is a row-wise vector. Now I really suggest you to watch this video which is on the screen now.